So uh, first of all, thanks for taking the time to speak. No problem. Um, so if we cast our minds back to the early days of your career, mm. where you played Crystal Palace uh, and you were loaned out to Bournemouth and Gillingham, mm. how important were those spells for you for your development as a player? Well, the, the loan spells, yeah, no, they were they were um, they were very important for me. I think at the time when I, when I first went to um, to Bournemouth. Yeah. I uh, probably got a bit stale as a player um, at Palace. Um, Steve Cockle decided to send me out on loan to get some experience. Um, I went to Bournemouth for, for, for three months. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. If, if I'm honest, at the time I did, we don't want to come back. I enjoyed that Bournemouth um, um, so much, but um, it yeah, was very beneficial for me at that moment in time. Yeah. And um, on your debut for Swindon Town, you very much became a fan of favourite. How did this make you feel? Oh. You can imagine if all you want to do is play football and, and, and do well for, you, for yourself and your teammates and for the, for the club and the fans. And to, to be able to, um, to achieve that, for them to, to welcome me the way they did and appreciate, appreciate the way I played, and it made me feel, um, as you can imagine, made me feel brilliant. Yeah. And then went on to play for Wolves, where you almost immediately had a big setback, getting injured in a bad tackle against West Brom. This kept you out of the game for a while. How does a setback like, like that affect your mentality towards the game? Oh, definitely. It was, it was, Mentally, very tough. Um, I think in football, for me, I, I, I moved to Wolves. That was my biggest, that was my dream move, my biggest move. I was on cloud nine, and um, within a week, um, I broke, I broke my leg. I was out for, for nine months. So um, emotionally, um, it, it, my emotions were one minute um, sky high, um, and you know, straight away, my, my, my emotions were, were, were rock bottom. And definitely, it's, it's very disappointing, very tough to take. Um, you know, but these are um, part of the setbacks in football and in life. Yeah. Um, on your return from injury, you scored two goals against the Baggies. Mm. Was this a perfect return and yeah. did it feel like revenge? It wasn't even revenge. I just, I just, I'm just, just so glad to be back playing in such, a, such an important game in the in in Wolves calendar. And to score two goals, I think we won 3-1. It's just, you, you, can't, you can't explain the elation, the feeling, the, the, the you know, they're just such a rush. You know, so I'm just so grateful. You could call it revenge, but um, for me, I'm just delighted with one league game and against our, 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 long, our long enemies. Yeah, and um, you were then an integral part to World Promotion season, making 30 appearances, scoring 11 goals. To sum up what it felt like to be part of that squad at the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I think you get, you, when you're part of a team like that and you know you're on a roll and you know that, Majority of the time you're going to win. As soon as you, as soon as you just have to feel the play, if you're so confident, you're confident in yourself, you're confident in your teammates, you can't wait for the next game, next game to come along. To be part of a team like that is, um, that's what football, football's, that's what it's all about. That's what we strive for. So to be part of that team is just, it's just, it's just the best feeling. Brilliant. Yeah. And finally, just a brief word on what it was like to play up front with Dean Sturridge and Nathan Blake, who are here tonight. Brilliant. First and foremost, these are, these are, these are top men and top, top people. And to have them as teammates was, you know, was brilliant. So to play along with them, alongside them, with Blake and, and Dino, great players. Dino, Blakey, great power, um, pace, power, and good finisher. Dino, pace, great finisher. So to play with these guys here, with the experience they had and what they brought to the, brought to the team and brought to the club, it was, it was a privilege for me to play with them. So, uh, thank you for your time. Really no problem. Time. Pleasure. Thanks. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click here to watch them in full. Also, subscribe if you're new so you can follow my journey to the media world.